Hey, what's up, guys? I'm BTC. This is the totally serious ultimate guide to the number one DPS hero in Overwatch, Ana. To start, you will notice that Blizzard decided to place this character in the support category. Uh, but don't be fooled, this was done because if people knew how powerful Ana really is, then no one would ever play any other damage character ever again. So let's go through Ana's abilities. Anna's primary damage is going to be her left click. This is one of the most powerful attacks in the game and does a whopping 80 damage per body shot. Because this is such a strong attack, for balance purposes, Blizzard has made it so that Ana cannot land critical headshots. But with crazy damage output like that, she doesn't need it. Mercy's damage amplification beam also does not work with Ana, as it would likely one-shot the entire enemy team. Uh, but you should still encourage the Mercy on your team to only damage amp you, simply to terrify the opposing team. It's important to note that Ana's damage is done over time instead of instantly. This is so that your opponent will have a few seconds of fear and panic killing not only their character, but also their very will and desire to continue playing. Unfortunately, because Ana is such a devastating damage dealer, Blizzard has also made it so that your own team can interfere with your kill potential. In the event one of your teammates gets in between you and the unlucky prey you have set in your sights, the damage will be denied and instead it will heal your noobish teammate for a pathetic 75 health, far less than the damage you would have dealt. Because of this pitiful healing, some of your teammates might mistake you for an actual healer instead of the DPS monster that you really are. This may cause them to cry out for healing, but it's important that you ignore them and allow actual healing characters like Mercy, Senyata, or even Soldier 76 to take care of it. Adding to Ana's devastating damage potential is her right click, which allows her to scope in and snipe enemies on the other side of the map. While scoped in, Ana's left click is a hit scan and instant, which is 0.000001 second faster than the speed of her unscoped projectile. Now let's get into Ana's abilities. Her first one is the sleep dart. This pitiful little dart is still strong enough to shut down any opponent. The sleep effect will last for approximately eight and a half minutes, and while completely unnecessary, it will also do five damage simply to insult the player that was dumb enough to get in your way. Her next ability is Biotic Grenade. When thrown, this will deal 60 damage to all enemies in a 20 foot radius. The Biotic Grenade also prevents these enemies from being healed, uh, but this is a silly effect because any opponent in front of Ana will die before healers can react. Once again, because of Ana's incredible damage potential, Blizzard has decided that for balance purposes, teammates can, and often will, get in the way and block your Biotic Grenade from serving its true purpose of destroying your enemies. Any teammates or yourself that is hit with the Biotic Grenade will receive a minusculely pathetic amount of healing, but in 99% of all situations, the grenade should be used for damage and damage only. Ana's ultimate ability is Nano Boost, and we're just gonna kind of gloss over this one, because while it does allow for a 50% damage increase, it's currently bugged, meaning that Ana is unable to use it on herself. So until Blizzard patches this bug, whenever you get Nano Boost, just throw it on any teammate that happens to be nearby. Maybe if you Nano Boost them enough, they might come close to doing one-tenth of the damage that Ana can do. Additionally, Ana has amazing combo potential. And I'm not talking about doing stuff with your teammates. I'm talking about Ana comboing with Ana. So recently, Blizzard nerfed one of Ana's combos, and what you would do is you would hit the target with the sleep dart, then you would get up close, 
use an emote of your choice in order to taunt the sleeping enemy, then you would follow up with a left click, a biotic grenade, a quick melee, then a jumping 360 no scope left click. This combo was strong enough to kill any character in the game, including D.Va while she's still in her mech. However, after the nerf, you can still do this combo, but instead of an insta-kill, it will only do 99.99999% damage to the enemy. I know, it's not quite as good, but it's what we're gonna have to use. As far as counters go, here is a complete list of all of the heroes in the game that are hard countered by Ana. And here is a list of all of the characters that are capable of countering Ana in any way. Alright guys, that is gonna be about it. I hope you enjoyed this, totally serious, ultimate guide to the top DPS character in Overwatch. Now get out there, play Ana, and win some games. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that like button, share with your friends, and subscribe because there's lots more. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault.